Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create any image into a Van Gogh style portrait or Van Gogh style image. Van Gogh style image. Come on, Curtis, use your words. All right, what am I talking about? Well, here is an example of the final product. And here is the image that we started with. This image is terrible. It's got very little contrast. It's dull. It's gray. It has very, very little sun. It's just not a great image. We've turned this into this. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. All right, guys, the first step is we're going to get to work on the image and we're going to start making some major adjustments. The one that we want to start with is we want to work on the lightest and darkest parts of the image because they're just, there's just no contrast and it's just very, very poorly shot. So we're going to go to the adjustments here. If you don't see it, just up here, you'll see adjustments. We're going to create an adjustment layer and we're going to work on the curves first. So we're going to left click on curves and presto. Not a lot happened. Don't worry about it. Holding down the Alt key or the Option key if you're on a Mac, left click on the Auto button and you're going to see it open up Auto Color Correction Options. This is what we want. It's default set to enhance brightness and contrast. We want to find dark and light colors. Make sure that is selected and we also want snap neutral midtones. So we're working on the lightest and darkest parts of the image. Okay, click that and we're on our way. The next step, is we're going to make another adjustment layer, but this one is a vibrance layer. We basically want to brighten the party here. Van Gogh used a lot of bright colors, as you probably are well aware, and this image is not bright at all. So we want to take the vibrance from 0 to 100. Yeah, we're going all the way with this one. Let's get going. All right, now we're cooking with fire. The next step is we want to add in some paint. We want to put in some daubs of paint, and it's going to look a little synthetic, but that's okay. We're going to work on that at the end, but we want to add in like a sun. So I'm going to go ahead over here to the brushes tool. I'm going to left click and select my brush. And then you'll notice that I have a brush. Uh, let's see which one did I choose. I've got like a rough round bristle brush, but either way, uh, whatever brush you choose, I'm going to go with this one. If you want to see what brushes are available, left click up here on this little folder with the brush on it and then head over to brushes. And for me, brushes is located right here. I'm using a rough round bristle brush, which is kind of the one I want. You will notice though, if you don't see that in your list of brushes and you can search right here, you can go to your legacy brushes and then just drop it down and then you'll see your legacy brushes and then underneath you'll see thick heavy brushes and then you'll see rough round bristle. Um, if you do not see that and it's possible or depending if you've had like a recent update, left click on this little hamburger menu and make sure that legacy brushes, which is down here, is selected. That way you'll have access to these brushes. Okay. A lot of time, a lot of talking on the brushes. We've got our rough round bristle brush selected. Now, what I want to do now is I want to add this to a new layer. So I'm going to click here on my vibrance layer. Now I'm going to hit the plus key and the layer is at the top of the layer stack. Beauty. I'm going to draw in the sun first. So I'm going to go over here and you're going to see that I've got white and white selected. You probably see black and white, which is fine. I'm just going to click on the little white foreground color and I'm going to select a bright yellow color because, again, he used very bright colors. And for this one, maybe we'll put the sun right here. So we're using, we're just drawing in this rough bristly brush sun. And you know, it makes sense because the sun's sort of coming through the clouds there in the image. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on that again. And now I'm going to select white. For the white, we're going to add in some white daubs into the sky. And again, this doesn't look quite right. Don't worry about it. These are just pretty kind of randomly selected. So I'm just going to make one there and maybe one there and I don't know, something like that. This will look correct in the final copy. Okay. So now we've got some brushes. We've added two adjustment layers and we're on our way. The next step is I'm going to go up here to the selection tool or the move tool, pardon me. And I'm going to turn all of these layers into one layer. So I'm going to click on layer one. I'm going to hold down the shift key, go to all four layers and I'm going to convert them into a smart object. Right click on them once you've selected all of them and just go to convert to smart object. Okay guys, we are on our way. Let's get going. All right, the next step is we're going to go ahead and start adding in some distortions and filters. So now that it is a smart object, we can apply filters 
to the image. Non-smart objects, not so good. So here we go. The first one we want to do is we want to give it a glass effect. So head up to the top here, filter, and then let's see where glass is. Filter, filter gallery. <laughs> and then for, for glass effect, you'll see it's under distort. All right, for the glass, I'm going to go with a stylization. Okay, well, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead over that first. So glass, glass filters applied. Now we're going to go ahead and just add the distortion to 10, the smoothness to 12. I like that. And very importantly, you want to make sure that canvas is selected. The texture is usually selected by blocks at the beginning. This is the default selection. Switch that to canvas, scaling at 100%. And presto, left click on OK, and we've added a nice little cool glass effect to it. Again, we're still far off from where we want to be, but we're on our way. We're going to add in a second filter, and the next one is oil paint. We're going to go up here to filter. We're going to go down to stylize, filter, stylize, oil paint. OK, good. Oil paint is loading up, and now if you look here in the little preview section, you're going to see some shades of Van Gogh. You know where this is going. Okay, good stuff. Stylization, I'm going to go with a stylization of 10. I'm going to go with a cleanliness of 3.5, a scale of 5, and a bristle detail of 10. Lighting, angle minus 60. This is the default. That's just fine and shine. I've got it set to 1.2 for this one. All right, left click. On our way. Here we go. Comes the filter. Okay, now you guys are seeing the Van Gogh action happen. We're not obviously there, but we're getting closer. Good stuff. We're going to go ahead now and convert this and add in some more filters. All right, so the next step here is you're going to notice that I've gone ahead and clicked on the smart filter. And now we're going to go ahead and work on those paint uh, daubs that we added on. Here we go. We're going up here to the left side. We're going to go to the quick selection tool. So you can do that by accessing it by pressing W. And then I'm just going to go ahead and roughly select those little daubs that we added in. And I, you'll notice that there's a plus. So I am doing a positive selection. And I'm just positively selecting these little pieces and little paint that I added in. All right, cool. And again, very importantly, do notice that I was selected on the filters. Now, I'm going to go to Edit. And I'm going to go to Fill. And I'm going to fill these with black. Watch this. Fill, fill black. OK. When you do that, you'll see that these images now all of a sudden have those black swirls or the paint and the, the they don't look like they're just, you know, pixelated paint added on. They've got texture to them. That was the effect that we were going for. Awesome. Let's keep going. Awesome. All right, guys, now we want to brighten this up again. So right now you're going to see here that the paint daubs are still selected. So I'm going to go to select, deselect so that everything's selected or everything isn't selected in that matter. And now we're going to go ahead and brighten the whole image up a little more. So how do we do that? Same way we did at the beginning. We're going to go to the adjustments layer here. We're going to create a new vibrance adjustment layer. Left click on that. And the vibrance is again going to go to 100. We are going all the way with this. We want this to look nice and bright. Beauty. Now if you're looking at this, you're going to say, hey, this is starting to look a little bit like a... Van Gogh painting. Again, these are a little bit blown out here. We'll get to that in a minute. But yes, we are on our way. All right, guys, the next step is, again, we're going to be dodging and burning. So dodging and burning allows you to selectively brighten and darken areas of the image. Now, this doesn't look too bad, but let's go ahead and let's take some of the trees and some of the forest and let's just brighten that up a little bit. I just feel like it's a bit too dark for my liking. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select the Dodge tool. I'm going to increase the brush size considerably. I've got the exposure set to 40%, and I'm working on the mid-tones. And let's just go ahead, and you'll see here that as I just left-click on it, and again, this is very broad, I'm going ahead and just brightening some of the trees here. So we're giving it a little bit of a brighter look. And you know what? That looks pretty good to me. If I want to darken maybe the skies a bit, I can add, I can switch to the burn tool. And then I'm going to go ahead and darken it just a little bit. We're working on the highlights here. But if we're working on, yeah, let's work on the highlights. And let's just go ahead and see what happens here. Okay, a little bit darker. Again, season this to your taste. That one actually didn't work because that went into the mountains. I'll command Z. Something like that, okay? I mean, oh, that's a bit too much. We're going to go exposure down to 
and let's just go ahead and darken it a little bit. Again, this is totally up to you how dark and bright you want each part of the area, but I want you to know that this is an option for you. Now let's go ahead and warp it. All right, guys, we're getting close to the end here. Let's go ahead now and make a warp adjustment to this. So what you want to do is you want to hit Command-T or Control-T, and that gives you the basic transform tools. When you open those tools, you're going to see up here, you'll see a switch between free transform and warp modes. We are going into warp mode. Left click on that, and then on the left side, you're going to see a few options. You've got different default warps that you can apply, and the wave warp is one that works quite well for this but I'm going to show you how to do it manually so that you can get it exactly how you want it. And you're also going to see here that there's a grid. The grid is default, but you also see that there is a 5x5 five five grid. This chops this thing into 25 equal rectangle pieces, and you can go ahead now and adjust them. Now, before I start making adjustments, keep in mind that Van Gogh had very swirly, very warped type look to it. It had nice swirly looks. So I'm going to see here what I'm doing. I'm going ahead. I'm pulling it and I'm twisting it. I'm twirling it. So I'm pulling it a little bit and then I'm twirling it. So we're warping it this way, but we're swirling it. I'm going to go ahead and make some small adjustments here. And you will notice that, again, this is a swirl warp. We're warping it, but swirling. I know I said that twice, but can't, can't say enough. That's exactly how Van Gogh made his art. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this manually a little bit here. I don't want to take too much time here. I'm going to warp it. I'm going to swirl it. And you guys are going to be able to see how this works so that when you're doing your own shots, this is how you do it. Again, I'm going to twist this right, and then maybe I'll twist this one left. Again, season it to your own taste. But these are slight little adjustments. Oops, let's go ahead and make this one. I'm going to warp it, swirl it left. And this one I'm going to swirl a bit to the right. There we go. And then you're going to see here I've made some swirls. Then I'm going to left click out of it. And presto. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and apply it. So just click on this check mark to apply, and that will apply the warping. Beauty. Now, we're going to go to the final stroke or the final option to go ahead and make this just look exactly like a Van Gogh painting. All right, final two things we're going to do. The first one, adjustments, and you know where this is going. We're going back to the vibrance, and we're going to jack the vibrance up to 100. Again, we're making this even brighter. You see what we're doing here? beauty that's the final vibrance adjustment layer and now we're going to go ahead and thicken the strokes and the way we do that again we're going to make sure the final bottom layer is selected we're going to go ahead and apply a final oil paint layer and how do we do that filter where was it hiding under was it under distort nope it was under stylized wasn't it yeah filter stylized oil paint and presto for the last one though the stylization isn't jacked up to 10 dropping it all the way down to 0.9. We want the thick brush stroke appearance. So let's go to 0.9. We're going to put the cleanliness all the way up to 9. 9 point, yeah, 9.2. We're going to go 9.2, 9.3. Let's go 9.2, whatever. It doesn't matter for that much. The scale is going up to 10. And the bristle detail, detail is staying at 10. And the shine is going to about 2. Now let's click OK and see what we got. hey -o. <laughs> there we go, guys. This is the Van Gogh painting that we started with. Remember, we started with this over here. Oh, no, this one here. Uh, never mind. We don't even have that one loaded. Don't even worry about it. It was ugly. We started with an ugly image, as you can remember, and we created this out of it, guys. This is how you create a Van Gogh painting from any old image. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I have a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.